dead, he says. I'm ready. I've been asked frequently by, by folks why when I wrap these joints in the seat, I don't lay the seat down first because that's the traditional way to do it. The reason I don't is because if you take a look at this situation, I can't see the joint. It's, invi it's, it, it's impossible to see it. And I, I need to see it to make sure I'm moving constantly, to make sure I'm taking a little bitty slivers and make sure I don't try to see a little bit of it. It's just lean way over like this and kind of I can maybe see part of it. But it's a, it's a matter of visual. When I put the router between myself, my eyes, and the joint, I can't see what's going on. And I don't like that. Okay, now, in contrast, if we put the seat in the vise, if you come over here, Gil. I'm going to zoom in. I have a perfect picture of that, uh, of that joint. I can see everything. I can see the whole thing very clearly. And this is a view that I do not have if I, right here, I have a perfect view of the joint and the cutter, and I can see everything that's happening. And I also have exquisite control of the thing. So, you, I've never seen anybody else do this, but this is my preferred way of cutting a joint like this.